Hey everyone, it's Testimony Tuesday with Ra on your life experiences with Ra. Those of you on YouTube, you know what to do. Click that subscribe, hit that like, share, comment. Every one of you who are watching this, just logging in, please hit that share. Let other people find out about your life experiences with Ra and hear the stories of others, the testimonies of others. All right, so it's your life experiences with Ra. It's Testimony Tuesday, and this is called an experience that they can't forget. Hi Rahul, I would like to share with you a life experience of mine that was one of the most challenging and a real eye-opener of a moment in my life. Something that affected me both in an emotional and physical way. 2011 was a testing year for me. I lost my job from one of the biggest oil companies. I was also heartbroken from a long time failed relationship and had financial issues. But this was not all. As a Hindu, our, our beliefs is that from our births, planets are sometimes affected by negative energy. As such, it seemed that my part in the universe was affected. My godfather intervened and prayed for me and my protection. A couple of weeks after in June 2011, I got hired for a new job in the heart of South City in Trinidad. It's also a city that is flocked with traffic at all angles. One morning about 7.30 am I decided to take a different route. I turned off the highway and then to a stop point. Unfortunately, I then got slammed by a truck on my side that pushed me towards the side of the road at a blasting speed. I was left unconscious for about an hour but I was, was awakened by the voices of the ambulances and help. I opened my eyes apparently fine at the first but then realizing my vehicle was completely smashed and blood was all over my face. I was in shock but I had the strength to dial my brother. I was then removed by the jaw of life and then taken to the hospital by the ambulance. The physical pain worsened. I suffered some bruises and fractured my sh shoulder bone. My family were all scared like hell and even the truck driver begged to see me in the emergency room. I got discharged the same day but I was basically crippled for about three months. I could not do anything on my own. I needed the help of my family, especially my dear mother, to prepare meals, provide the medication, and give me a bath, etc. Being helpless those days had taken a downhill emotional toll in my life. That year in general was tough, an experience I will never forget. This proved who are the important souls in my life and how life can easily be snatched away from you. My godfather said the accident would have been fatal if it wasn't for the powerful prayers he bestowed upon me. I have moved on with the lessons learned and have become more spiritual and count my blessings every single day. A bit of advice every morning acknowledge things you are grateful for in your life. Life is an experience filled with many great things. Always be grateful for the gift of life. In addition to my personal story shared, I would like to applaud and say thanks to Rahul for an amazing show. Sharing our personal experiences to the outside world would help others going through the same struggles and add some sort of comfort in going through their life's challenges. Keep up the good work and I encourage everyone to subscribe and like the pages. Share this wonderful page. Thank you so much for that. This person is from Pinal, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you so much, guys. You know, it's, on, it's Testimony Tuesday. A uh, bit of, of the things, yes, we know. I mean, I'm also Hindu and I know about uh, planets and whatnot. As you said, that your, um, if it wasn't for your 
Godfather's powerful prayers bestowed upon you. Things could have been worse. Listen, destiny is destiny. All right. Yes, prayer is very powerful and stuff. And this is um, anonymous. I'm um, sorry, testimony Tuesday, and people sending their testimonies. But to my way of thinking is, no one can pray for you. No one can best talk or put prayers upon you for you to be better in your life or for your life to be better. No, you have to do that. You have to be the one to pray for yourself. You have to be the one to uplift yourself. You Remember I've been teaching you guys this, think happy thoughts, think beautiful thoughts. Be happy and everything will work out in your way. All right, so keep the faith, keep the love and all this. It's raw and it's Testimony Tuesday. Send in your testimonies, send in your beautiful Anonymous Monday stories, send in your questions for QOA Wednesdays, questions, opinions, answers. All right, everyone, it's Ra, and I love you all. See you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Wednesday, 7 p.m. QOAs. Ra, and I love you all.